How's it going, everybody? This is ODD. I'm hanging out in the studio with Sirius Steve. Hey. Today, we're going to go over occult symbolism in the cigarette industry. So, uh, let's jump right into it. Let's start with R.J. Reynolds' Camel Cigarettes. Camels are innocent enough, right? I mean, it takes place in Egypt, in the desert. We're talking about camels as the theme for a Turkish blend cigarette. It's only natural that there's going to be pyramids, right? Wrong. The occult love this shit. They love incorporating it into every aspect of their life, your life, and they have nothing better to do. They have all the money they'll ever need, so basically they just fucking play. They have fun. They, they actually do practice magic and try to look for ways to live forever. What else do they have to do? So I know it sounds crazy, but it is. this is what's happening. So we got the camels, right? And there's some fucking dude subliminally put into the camel. I don't know why. What do you think, Sirius Steve? It's most definitely subliminal. Probably to make men feel strong. Yeah, exactly. So, and then Camel Cash puts the all-seeing eye on their shit. So you can't just... You can't just be like, all right, it was a camel theme with pyramids. No, now they're now they're actually showing you the fucking pyramid with the eye. And they RJ Reynolds makes other cigarettes, like occult-based cigarettes with the occult themes. They used to use a cartoon character named Joe Camel to advertise their cigarettes. It was really children-friendly and when people got upset about that and Camel did away with that, they found a way around it and just eventually started making their cigarettes look like candy. RJ Reynolds has their own version of Marlboros, at least that's what I think, because Paul Malls has the P and the M for Philip Morris, and it also has the Royal Coat of Arms crest, just like Philip Morris uses. Shortly after I began researching for this project, I came to the realization that it wasn't much different from researching one-eye symbolism in the music industry. I started seeing it in the cigarette ads. A lot of people think that it's just a marketing scheme, that, you know, the Illuminati is what's hot right now, and if people think that you're in the Illuminati, then you'll be gossiped about more and discussed more, which ultimately will lead to more sales in whatever you're doing. There's only one problem with that. The symbolism has been around for way too long in all major aspects of media, long before people started pointing it out. And I guarantee you, as soon as people started pointing it out, that's when geniuses had the the idea to uh, use it as a marketing scheme because I know it is used as a marketing scheme. But what I'm saying is that not everybody is using it as a marketing scheme. What do you think, Sirius Steve? Not only is it a marketing scheme, it's known to the elite that they can keep the masses occupied with these celebrities that pretend to be part of the gang. They actually sponsor artists to represent All right, eagles on cigarettes. Look at this guy, does he remind you of anything? Yeah, I thought so. Look at this guy, he's carrying the world or holding it. This looks like it has a square and a compass behind the eagle and it looks like the wings of the eagle kind of add to it. Oh nice, look at this brand of electronic cigarettes called Elites. Check these out. I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, Galoises. It's got a Mercury helmet on it. And interestingly enough, one of the ads has a gay dude on it with uh, the one eye symbolism. Here we have Montclair cigarettes. They have a Pegasus on them. Cigarettes with horses on them. Um, There's quite a few brands with horses on cigarettes. And since we're talking about occult symbolism, the first thing that came to mind was 
the horse at DIA. Cool menthol cigarettes have uh, Vesica Pisces embedded in the name. The ancient Egyptians practiced sacred geometry based on the shape. Architects and artists copied the solar eclipse Vesica Pisces and its mathematics to their sacred buildings and artwork to reflect their religious beliefs. Ancient tradition was passed on through the centuries by Freemasons. And if you think it wasn't meant to be a Vesica Pisces, then you could think again because they actually separate the Vesica Pisces and put it on different parts of the box and whatnot. And speaking of Freemasons and sacred geometry, here we got a girl with a dragon tattoo and a Vesica Pisces tattoo as well, hanging out on a Masonic checkered floor. Here we got Lucky Strike cigarettes and they use the symbolism of a dot inside of a circle, which is an astrological symbol meaning the sun. And it's also an Egyptian hieroglyph for the sun god Ra. And if you don't think that Lucky Strike's intent was for it to be sun symbolism, then you could look at this ad and see that the logo for Lucky Strike is taken the place of the sun. And also in other ads, they always seem to be hanging out in the sun and the sun is an ongoing theme. And here we have more um, sun symbolism on cigarettes. And hey, look, it's the eagle again. And another company that uses the sun as their symbol for their cigarettes. All right, now we could talk about Philip Morris a little bit. Philip Morris owns a lot of brands of cigarettes. They're the ones with the British Royal Arms logo uh, with the two lions. It used to say Vinny Vidi Vici underneath meaning I came, I saw, I conquered, but they ended up getting rid of it because people didn't like it. You know, they didn't like the sound of that coming from a cigarette company. Um, the fact that their logo is a British Royal Arms insignia is disturbing to me because I've done research on how America got started and I could only come to the conclusion that America is a corporation that's owned and operated by Britain. And uh, if you research where our social security cards come from and where the IRS, you know, where they're based from, it, it all leads to Britain and it's all about money. More noticeable symbolism on the Marlboro packs um, is the L and the B. They rise up way higher than the rest of the letters and they pretty much form an 11 or two pillars however you want to look at it but in earlier ads for philip morris cigarettes there's the twin towers and these are from the early 90s so i find that pretty interesting being that the elites are the most suspect for being behind 9-11 Misty cigarettes have a rainbow as their logo. Rainbows seem innocent enough, but it is Illuminati symbolism. Um, like when you look at the Pink Floyd album cover and there's a ray of light going into the prism and it comes out the other side as the full spectrum of colors. Um, I wasn't even going to bring up Misty cigarettes, but I found an ad with the one eye symbolism. So I thought it was worth a mention. Terryton cigarettes. These cigarette ads have one eye symbolism and two pillar symbolism all day. And of course we have pyramid cigarettes. We also have Corso and they have a triangle with a tree in the middle where an eye could be. We have black mini cigars, a triangle replacing the A. We have Kingston cigarettes. 
true cigarettes. Um, the first thing I saw when I looked at this logo was a radiation symbol. And upon further research, all I could find was that a triangle inside of a circle is a powerful alchemy symbol and they use it a lot. And Newports, they have this weird shape for their logo. It looks like an upside down Nike sign. People say it looks like a ring on Saturn kind of symbolism, like a swoosh around Saturn. Um, I think it kind of looks like a, a spaceship kind of thing, you know, like one of these. And it's funny because RJ Reynolds has a boomerang looking thing in their logo. Let's look at the Newport logo again. And you see how there's emphasis on the, the older logo with the shadow underneath it. It looks like it's floating or hovering above it. And we got these Ace cigarettes that have kind of the same logo, only it's sharper. And we got Hollywood cigarettes. See, this one looks just like that, like a little ship hovering, you know. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm looking way too far into this shit. I don't know, but it's it's still fun. Keeps me occupied. Um, looks like a ship. And it looks like Chevron's logo. And look at Exxon right there with the two X's. Um, two X's is the seal of Saturn. If we look at the seal of Saturn, it looks like two X's. And uh, it also looks like uh, the Freemasons square and compass. And here's these cigarettes. With They're called traffic cigarettes. They have uh, X looking logo and red and blue. Red and blue symbolism seems to dominate when it comes to Saturn. But that's a different subject. So anyway, we got Viceroy's. Viceroy's, you see that V emblem V kind of the it kind of looks like the Chevron logo too but anyway uh, here's a different pack when they change the V the V is emphasized it's just a huge V Viceroy right well I looked up uh, what V symbolism means and I, I found that it could be a sign of the horned god Pan and uh, it could be a sign of the law of opposites um, in her highly regarded encyclopedia of symbols entitled Masonic and Occult Symbols Illustrated, Dr. Kathy Burns explores the meaning of the V sign. She explains that the two fingers upward related to the Masonic and Gnostic law of opposites, exactly as the case for Masonic Lodge's black and white checkered board floors. Um, there's a TV show called V. It's about reptilians. Revealing themselves on Earth. Um, I don't want to get into that, but I think the show symbolizes change in a big way. And V uh, is a five in Roman numerals, and and the fifth age is something that Saint Augustine in four four hundred BC uh, formulated. That the fifth age is the age when man uh, loses humanity, basically. And right now we're dabbling in the transhumanism and all sorts of fucking crazy shit. But anyway, the other thing about the V from Viceroy Cigarettes is that it reminded me of the bottom half of a Masonic uh, square and compass. So that's proof right there that they're trying to do this. It's like, no, I'm just kidding. But seriously, uh, and I found a Viceroy ad that had Egyptian stuff in it and you know it's like why do they why I guess it's cool you know I like the stuff but is this what is that just a coincidence with all the other coincidences and then uh, we got Parliament Parliament also has the V um, also looks like the bottom half of the square and compass from the Freemasons and I downloaded this particular logo and it happened to be purple and gold and that's just like the Freemasons logo um, I found a parliament ad that had a pyramid in it 
another Parliament ad where this guy's sitting on a chair that's very defined into a V-shape from the perspective of, of the viewer. Um, it's very strange. I don't, you know, I can't really say too much about it because I don't have any clue what's going on, why they're doing this. I just know that cigarettes are definitely um, incorporating occult symbolism. And that's as far as I'm going to go. I'm not going to defend it with, you know, everything I got. I laugh at stuff. I have fun every day. So I'm not sitting here stressed out about the end of the world. And I don't think you should be either. But I think we should all be awake, you know, at least. That's a start. Do you have any final thoughts, Sirius Steve? Our planet was tricked into this system. The first people to trick others into obeying are still the same people that own us today. My friends, none of this is new. This is Sirius Steve and OD. Signing off.